for your hair to grow and stay healthy it needs to be constantly moisturized now let me teach you a very simple and potent ayurvedic hair growth butter that will grow your hair massively and keep it moisturized also healthy the first thing you're going to be needing is rosemary rosemary promotes blood circulation in the scalp thereby improving hair growth and strength okay the second ingredient you're going to be needing are cloves you all know the unending benefits of cloves cloves contain vitamin k eugenol and all of that that will promote hair growth and hair strength now the third ingredient you're going to be needing is fenugreek fenugreek contains anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties which are essential for hair growth it also promotes healthy scalp and a stronger hair growth in my mixing plate i added about one eighth of my rosemary first yeah and after that i added about the same amount of cloves as well and also the same amount of fenugreek you might want to go higher with this you might want to go lower depending on the quantity you are making depending on your need for it maybe you are selling or for personal use so the quantity you want to use is totally dependent on so you so after measuring out the quantity i want after measuring out my ingredients i'm going to go ahead and pour it into my blender to give it um a very coarse blend i'm not going to blend it till it's smooth and powdery you know i'm just going to give it a very loose blend so you can choose to leave yours unblended you can choose to not blend yours it's totally up to you it can still work So once i was done blending this is what i have it wasn't looking powdery or fine for just colors and that is okay for me so in my bowl i added my shea butter um not that i didn't have a particular measurement for this shea butter i just i bought it so if you're very particular about your measurement you can get like a measuring skill and measure it out okay so we all know shea butter um keeps the hair very soft and moisturized also keeping the scalp and hair healthy it is also very potent in hair growth so this is going to be my base this is going to be the base i am going to be making use of today so after i've added my shea butter the desired quantity that i want i'm going to pour in my my ingredients that i blended into the shea butter and then we proceed to the carrier oils here I am making use of my Goya olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Um, that is the first uh, oil I'm going to be using. So I'm measuring about a quarter of this. Um, please note that your oil must not be greater than your butter. Your oil must not be more than your butter. Okay. So after my olive oil, I also added coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil this is this is a coconut oil from an organic market yeah so that's why it didn't come with any label or anything so i measured about the same quantity of the coconut oil as well yeah remember your oil must not be greater than your butter so once i was done adding my oils i'm going to mix this and then proceed to double boil it you do not want to place this on direct heat so you don't uh, boil off the nutrients on your ingredients okay so you have to double boil and please while you're double boiling please boil on low heat do not boil on high heat okay boil this so all the ingredients have melted and totally come together you know the shea butter has melted and all of that so you might want to leave this and continuously stir it now the essence of this boiling is to get the dry ingredients to properly infuse into the oil and butter so once it is fully melted you're going to have to set it aside to cool down a little bit because the next step is going to involve you touching it and you do not want to boil your hands or your fingers okay so in another bowl i am going to get my cheesecloth this it's going to help me sieve out um, the the chaffs that I no longer need. My sieve cloth has um, tiny holes, so you can make use of um, stockings. You can make use of your wig cap, whatever it is that you use to sieve out. Them. Maybe handkerchief as well. Just anything with tiny holes that will not allow for easy passage of the chaffs of your blended chaffs. Okay. So once i've gotten everything into the cheesecloth i'm going to squeeze it yes so as to get um the remaining oils out of the cheesecloth and after that i am going to discard of the chaps because i no longer have 
any need for it so once i was done squeezing once i was done with all of that this was how my oil was looking like at the moment this was what everything was looking like i'm going to go ahead and pop this into the fridge for an hour just so it can solidify and after that this was what we have you see how it was looking please did not want this to get as frozen as mine i kind of left mine for too long and it got very frozen but that is okay i'm going to get my mixer and start whipping yes you need to whip this i also heard you can also um use blender blender to whip i've not tried that but i heard it could work that is if you do not have a mixer so i'm going to continuously mix this and as i'm mixing i'm going to be scraping um the side just so to get every part of it and also the frozen parts as well so you need to scrape the sides as you mix okay so after another round of mixing i am going to go ahead now to add my essential oil this is where you add um your citrus oil or whatever you're using i'm going to be adding few drops of my tea tree oil tea tree oil helps to fight against dandruff and dry scalp con um, conditions it also allows for proper and healthy hair growth i'm also going to be adding my peppermint oil peppermint oil promotes um blood circulation in the scalp which stimulates hair follicles and in turn promoting hair growth like a healthy hair growth You might want to keep mixing and whipping this until it almost doubles in size yeah so this is what mine was looking like this is the color the texture the consistency this is what i had at this point and i thought to stop mixing now look how creamy this is guys look how creamy look at the consistency look at the color everything looks so beautiful and yeah i was really really satisfied with this so once i was done with this once i was done whipping the next thing i went ahead to do was um transfer it into the container of my choice yeah so you have to transfer this into a container just to keep it safe and keep it um in its buttery form okay so i was able to get about two full cups of this and guys look at that consistency look at that texture so you can see how it's easily dissolved into my skin that is the same way it is going to melt into your hair without any hard work this butter is i mean filled with so many benefits because it is all natural ingredients no added chemicals right yeah so i'm going to show you how i apply this so you want to make sure your hair is you know kind of sprayed with water first then i went in with this butter a little bit of this butter applied it to my hair and i'm not going to lie to you guys it kept my hair moisturized and you know shining yeah it kept my hair very moisturized so as size um growing your hair it is also going to add a healthy shine to your hair now you can compare this now to this side other side that i have not touched and you can clearly see the difference so this was the full look of when i was done moisturizing everything and look how juicy and bouncy my hair was look how moisturized look how shining it was looking so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you found this video very helpful please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe it's allergy here and yeah i will see you guys on my next one bye guys